their original job was to watch the earth, and what they did was decide to corrupt it instead, and they've been here ever since, corrupting it every step of the way. And now, you know, in the last days, the Bible prophesies of a time when Lucifer will get to rule the world for 42 months, and that's what he's going to do, and through this Nasera is how he's going to do it. Uh, so let me tell you about some of these codes from Sananda. Uh, some of the terms in Sananda was uh, that, he, that he's Jesus, which is a fraud, it's a hoax, it's fraudulent, deceitful, he's phony, he's fake, he's blasphemous, he blasphemes, he's a blasphemy, he's Satan. Uh, other terms, blasphemy, blasphemous, blasphemy, deceit, hoax, fraud, plant, phony, fake, deceitful, demonic, ghoulish, anic, witchcraft. Uh, people will call him Jesus, but he is a phony and a fake. Uh, he'll, he'll, be in, he'll come in an aerodrome, which is another term for UFO. He's a beast. He's a loyal follower of Lucifer's. Uh, Lucifer indwells him. He's prayerful. He's a devotee, a follower of Lucifer. Uh, he's a Megan. He's an abomination. He's disgusting and repugnant. And this is more or less on the insides of him because people will be very fooled on the outsides of him. Uh, you know, he's, he's fake and abomination. The term Paleo was found in his code, which means to judge and to pray. Uh, but he's repugnant. He's disgusting, he's an idol, a demigod, a god, a tyrant, and his associate and friend is Jermaine, also associated with Satan. Uh, his outward appearance may be one of beauty, uh, but he's repugnant and disgusting on the inside. You know, he's, he's nothing of the Lord's, he's not from the Lord, the Most High God. Uh, but he's going to come in the name of Jesus. Uh, you know, the magnitude of how he's worked over the years is, is going to astound people. Uh, it did me. I mean, think about it. The person who was portrayed the picture of Jesus that we've seen all of our lives, the person people have seen in near-death experiences is Sananda. Not Jesus, not the Son of the Most High God. It has been Sananda. He has been playing the role of Jesus behind the scenes all this time. But Jesus people have seen in visions. The Jesus people have seen in nighttime visitations. It has been Sananda. Sananda, Sananda, Sananda. He's a fraud, a mocker, an imitator, a blasphemer of the Most High God. And when he comes, he will have an aura of authority about him. He will heal the sick. He will restore missing limbs for people. He will raise the dead. He will be the great healer. He will mock and imitate everything the real Jesus, Yahushua, did when he was here. You know, Sananda is going to do everything Jesus did, and people are going to call him Jesus. People think that because uh, they are Christians that this Jesus, uh, the real Jesus, hasn't really appeared to them. When he has, it's been this fake and, and false one. They were deceived, they are being deceived, and they're going to royally be deceived when Sananda arrives himself for good because he's the one that's been showing himself to them as Jesus. And so they're going to recognize him as Jesus and proclaim he's Jesus when he's a fraud. And this is, this is going to be bulk, the bulk of most of those people in the churches today. You know, we've been so conditioned on pictures on what Jesus looks like that when he arrives or shows himself to people, they don't even bother to test the Spirit as commanded in the Word. You know, the Word of God commands us to test the spirits to see whether they be of God. Uh, and if that's not bad enough, and I have this posted on my sites this week, this Sonata, Jesus has his own lead angel called Michael, the archangel. <laughs> and those familiar with spiritual warfare know how demons and fallen angels will take on the names of biblical figures to mimic them. And that's what we have here, folks, a complete mockery and imitation of the real Jesus, Yahushua, the Son of God, and the archangel Michael. The ones coming are frauds. Will it be convincing? Yes. Will, you know, will they be convincing? Yes, they will. You know, these two, Sonata Jesus and this angel Michael, with his forces, he has some kind of electric blue forces or some kind of electric sword or something. Uh, they're going to, you know, they've been masquerading behind the scenes already as the real beings themselves when they are not. They have deceived many in the New Age and more esoteric theologies that are familiar with them in assistance and channeling. Even Christians who proclaim the false prophecies given to them by the Sananda also proclaim that they've seen Michael and his angelic forces are just Michael and have had prophecies given to them from him. Uh, when you see these beings rebuke them, test the spirits, folks, especially when they just start showing up here on earth. Remember that they are frauds because the real Son of God will not return until the Battle of Armageddon in Revelation 19:11 to 16. He isn't coming to set up an economic program. He isn't coming 
to revitalize our Earth's ecosystem or, rechain, or, or give us uh, new health benefits or a new ecosystem. And I've been reading some of these benefits of Nacera and some of the things that they're going to do is give us all new vehicles to drive, you know, these hover things that hover off the ground five or ten feet, and they're going to revamp the highways and, and some of the briberies uh, to accept this Nacera and the fact that they have medicines that can heal uh, people from cancers within days and that they have free energy where we can no longer have to pay for energy or be a slave to energy devices. We can all have free energy. And we're looking at all these bribery techniques that they're using to come and when they set up this Nacera, we've had this technology. I mean, Tesla developed free energy eons of years ago, 50 years ago maybe. And what did they do? They, they, they threw him in jail. They, t they stole his patents. Uh, anybody who has a cancer cure today will get their patent stripped from them. If that doesn't, you know, and if that doesn't enough to stop them, they'll be thrown in jail under trumped up lies and charges or they'll be killed. And, and so our government has had all of these things available. But what they've done is they've hidden them. They've kept them away from the public so that uh, when the time comes, when the time is right, such as when the Antichrist comes, then all of this stuff could be made available. <laughs> we, you know, we can have... Uh, we have free energy vehicles. We don't have to be relying on oil, oil reserves or anything like that, but our government has kept that always from the people. Uh, you know, I've kept this underground. They have it in their own underground cities. Uh, you know, most people call them the underground bases, but they're actually just literally cities. And so when the time is right and it's time for this Nasera thing to come out, which is nothing but the Antichrist agenda, what he's going to implement on Earth, they're going to roll out all these technologies. They're going to roll out all these benefits of not having to be in debt. And, of course, manufacturing across the world will come to a standstill because, I mean, you can basically just visualize things into existence then and you don't have to have all these factories and things to create food and clothes. Uh, so a lot of things are going to be changing, but, you know, it's going to be like holding a banana in front of a monkey. They're going to be dangling this banana and the only way you can get the banana is if you sell out to the system, you know. And that's why, you know, for so many people, it's just to head out of the cities and, and head out of the way because we know what it is, you know. And, and it's just a heartbeat away from implementing that chipper mark in the right hand or forehead uh, to require the whole world uh, to, to be able to buy or sell anything. Uh, you won't be able to buy or sell anything without it. And if you do get it, then according to Revelation uh, 19 and 20, you'll be cast into the lake of fire. Anybody who has this chipper mark in their in around their right hand or forehead or bows to this image, they're going to erect this image of the beast. And, uh, you know, some people say it's going to be a statue of the Antichrist himself. Some people say this image will be in the shape of a cross. Uh, but if but if they whatever this image is going to be, if you refuse to bow to it, you will be killed. And it's these Anik, the Omegans, Satan's armies that are going to overtake FEMA here in the United States. They'll become what we know as FEMA, and they're going to be the enforcers of this beast imaging thing, you know, beast worshiping thing. And so if you don't, if you don't bow and worship this image, they'll kill you. And if you don't get this mark in, in or on your right hand or forehead. You can't buy or sell anything and be a part of the new system that's coming. And so that's why I'm, I'm really stressing the fact that Jesus isn't coming anytime soon. The false one comes first. You know, the, the one coming, claiming to be the Son of God is false. He's, he comes first. When, when the real Jesus, when the real Yahushua, and his name is Yahushua, his real name is Yahushua, uh, when he comes, it's going to be at the Battle of Armageddon in Revelation 19:11. Well, the churches will recognize as the second coming of Christ, and he's not coming any time before that, folks. And I know, as I've heard it from a lot of people, that they're not teaching in the churches today that, that Satan comes first. And, you know, when I was growing up in church, and I grew up in the system for 20, 25 years, they always taught that. So I don't know what's going on in the churches today other than Satan has control of them. And one of the reasons I keep saying is if you really want to learn who the Lord is and what his word really teaches, you've got to get out of the churches because they're not teaching it in the churches. You know, they're controlled. 
They're coming out of these